सिंगल फेज एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर विद रेसिस्टिव लोड सिंगल फेज एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर विद इंडक्टिव लोड और एल सिंगल फेज एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर विद रेसिस्टिव लोड इन बिटवीन जीरो लेस देन ओमेगा टी लेस देन अल्फा थायरिस्टर इज इन ब्लॉकिंग स्टेट एंड ऑल द सोर्स वोल्टेज एपियर्स अक्रॉस थायरिस्टर व्हेन टी1 इज फायर्ड एट अल्फा इट गोस इनटू द कंडक्टिंग स्टेट एंड द सोर्स वोल्टेज ट्रांसफर्स फ्रॉम थायरिस्टर टू लोड For alpha less than omega t less than 180 degrees thyristor conducts when the load current is in phase with source voltage vs is equal to supply voltage ig1 is equal to gate drive t1 ig2 is equal to gate drive t2 v0 is equal to output voltage i0 is equal to output current is is equal to supply current v t1 is equal to voltage across sc or t1 At omega t is equal to 180 degrees, thyristor T1 stops conducting. When the firing angles are in between 0 to 180 degrees plus alpha, converter again goes into blocking state. The source voltage appears across the thyristor. At 180 degrees plus alpha, T2 is fired and it conducts till 360 degrees. At 360 degrees, T2 stops conducting. The firing pulses of T1 and T2 are 180 degrees apart. The RMS value of output voltage is single phase AC voltage controller with inductive load RL. In practice, most loads are inductive to a certain extent. A full wave controller with an inductive load is shown next. During 0 to 180 degrees, T1 is forward biased. At alpha, T1 is triggered and current starts increasing through the load. At 180 degrees, load and source voltage becomes zero, but current is not zero because of inductive load. There will be no sudden change in current for inductive. Load. At beta greater than 180 degrees, where beta is extension angle, load current reduces to zero. After 180 degrees. T1 is reverse biased but does not turn off because load current is not zero at beta when load current is zero T1 is turned off as it is already reverse biased from beta to 180 degrees plus alpha no current exists therefore output voltage is zero thyristor T2 is turned on at 180 degrees plus alpha greater than beta current starts building up in reverse direction through At 360 degrees, source voltage and load voltage are zero, but load current is not zero. At 180 degrees plus alpha plus gamma, current becomes zero, and T2 is turned off because it is already reversed. At 360 degrees plus alpha, no current exists, and output voltage is zero. Voltage across thyristors appears only when both of them are in off. In this state positive voltage appears across thyristor if it is forward biased and not conducting and negative voltage appears across thyristor if it is reverse biased and not conducting if any one thyristor is on voltage drop across both on and off thyristors is zero because of this parallel connection voltage drop across devices connected in parallel the gating signals of thyristors could be short pulses for a controller with a resistive load however they are not suitable for inductive loads when thyristor t2 is fired thyristor t1 is still conducting due to induct by the time the current t1 falls to zero and t1 is turned off the gate current of t2 already ceases consequently t2 will not be this difficulty can be resolved by using a continuous gate signal with a duration of pi minus alpha however a continuous gate pulse increases the switching loss of thyristor in practice a short duration of train pulses are used to overcome the loss problem the rms value of output load voltage is found from 